Give it up for Darren Smith. Oh man, Darren Smith. All right, this next comic, great friend of mine. We go a long way back. We are. I love when I run into him here at the club. A man. He didn't just tell me he recently won Sexiest Man Alive this week. He just told me to give it up for Ryan Reynolds. Here comes Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, Sexiest Man Alive. Ta-da. Yeah, some guy named Ryan Reynolds, born in Canada, gifted with an athletic body. Uh, I don't put a picture on Facebook. I get 14 dates in an hour. Yeah, I guess how disappointed they are when I show up. Ta-da! You ain't Ryan Reynolds. You dye your hair? That's not the natural hair color you have. We're not complaining. You're wearing a bustier. Come on. It's all false advertising. Hollywood makeup. Okay, don't call the cops. I'm going. <laughs> oh, yeah, I recently have something to celebrate, too. I started a diet last year, and I'm officially down 120 pounds. You don't have to applaud. You don't have to applaud. At my size, that's like a deck chair off the Titanic. <laughs> it's still going down. Oh. I've been doing it the hard way, though. I've had to go through the gym. I haven't been taking the pills or anything like that. You know, gym and exercise and dieting. Dieting stinks, I gotta say. Cause yeah. My weakness, yes. My weakness is midnight snacks because I'm up all types of the night, you know. Comedians do this. We're getting home at like four in the morning. My favorite midnight snack was a Pop Tart. You know, eat that Pop Tart, go lay in bed, girlfriend rolls over and smells. It smells like pastry. What did you have? I had a Pop Tart. You know, Pop Tarts are filled with sodium and sugar and starches and carbohydrates. You're doing nothing good for your diet, nothing good for your system. Don't you smoke? <laughs> You're awfully finicky for someone who's giving themselves cancer. So I went to my doctor today and I asked him, what should I be taking for my kleptomania? <laughs> <laughs> I've been wondering as of late, if I don't pay for an exorcism, do I get repossessed? <laughs> I lost my mood ring today, and I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> well, I got warmed up for Zanies here the old-fashioned way. I sat around in my air-conditioned house watching ESPN. Love ESPN, especially since football is back. Oh, yes. I'm a huge Bears fan. Yeah. You might want to be careful where you admit that in Chicago, though, especially near Clark and Belmont. You know, Dick Butkus down there is a position, not a player. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I was watching ESPN Classic, watching an old Bears game. Troy Aikman was announcing. I cannot stand when they have these former football players. It's just, they just want to show you how bad you know, concussions have been to these, <laughs> these horrible, you know, m malfunctioning human beings now. I mean, he, the guy is stupid now. He's been hit so many times. He has no common sense. He said if this team had a more accurate quarterback, they'd complete more passes. Of course! <laughs> Jesus, this guy needs a helmet just to wake up in the morning. Stands over my shoulder while I'm in the line at the gas station. If you had seven more numbers, you'd be a millionaire. <laughs> Thanks, Timmy. Uh, you know, talking about sports, one thing I cannot stand is how many athletes are constantly getting into trouble. I mean, just today I heard again Cedric Benson, former Chicago Bear, now at the Cincinnati Bengals, arrested domestic assault. It's horrible. If we have more athletes com uh, committing crime out there, they're going to start keeping it in the stats. There's Cedric Benson. He's leading the league with 960 yards, 14 touchdowns, and only two domestic assaults. Let's give it up for him. 
A trifecta there. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, I'm going to the gym. I'm getting real tired of the gym though. The one thing I hate is the locker room. You know, I'm not homophobic, but this is the gayest place in the world, the men's locker room. They've got mood lighting, naked men walking around, music playing over the loudspeaker. You know, I'm, like I said, I'm not homophobic, but I walk in this place, my waist clenches so tight that my, my butt clenches so tight my waist drops six inches. It'd be a lot funny if I didn't ruin that. <laughs> then I also have uh, people who are bigger than me trying to give me advice. I cannot stand this either. I mean, you, you don't get advice from people who are failing into something you want to succeed at. You don't. I get off the scale. This guy comes at me and he says, so you're losing weight? I said, yeah. I said, you know what you need to try to do? I said, yeah, not listen to your Buick-sized ass. <laughs> Christ, no one goes to the Chicago Cubs and tries to get World Series advice, okay? <laughs> On that note, good night, guys. I'm gone. Bring it up for your host, my very close friend. Insert name here. Ryan Reynolds, give it up. My oh, man.